Welcome to the Late Show. Uh, I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Um, hope everybody's feeling good, ready for the weekend. Now, um, there's a lot going on in the world. Donald Trump is out there. Uh, he's getting ready to break yet another presidential tradition. Because this week, uh, we learned that he could become the first president in 150 years who does not have a pet. Other than, of course, the rare golden marmot that nests on his head. <laughs> but a long time. <laughs> but a long time acquaintance of Trump's says she wants to give him a nine week old golden doodle. Speaking of Trump's lapdogs, the Republicans <laughs> control both the House and the Senate. And when Trump becomes president, They've got some big plans because Mitch McConnell, Senate Majority Leader and soda shop owner with a dark secret, says <laughs> repealing Obamacare would be the first item up in the new year. I mean, obviously, first is get a gym membership, maybe a soul cycle, though I'm not sure Mitch McConnell has a soul. Now, <laughs> Republicans have been promising to repeal and replace Obamacare for years now, of course. And while the repeal appears to be just around the corner, the GOP plans to delay an Obamacare replacement for as long as three years. What? 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 <laughs> Am I hearing that right? You're going to take health care away from 20 million Americans, then just figure out how to fix it later? That's like jumping out of a plane and then knitting your parachute on the way down. <laughs> so, wow. just... This was an exhausting election, but uh, thankfully it's finally over, is a thing I would love to say. <laughs> Unfortunately, for the good folks in Louisiana, they're holding a final runoff election for the U.S. Senate tomorrow. That's right, a runoff. Named because at this point, one more election makes you want to run off a cliff. <laughs> now, runoffs are typically very low turnout. In order to raise awareness of this important election, right now, our resident Louisianian John Baptiste would like to speak directly to his home state. John, if you would, please. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you. Okay. Listen up, fellow Louisianians. I'm going to say this in words we can all understand. It's time for you and your mama and them to make a pass to the voting booth. You dig? <laughs> it's no time for come say, come sa. You got to choose between Frank Ocean and Harry Connick Jr., a little wheezy. Let the bon ton roulet in the internet, and the future is ours, yeah? <laughs> Papa Doe, bro, bridge, by you, test, you hear? Voulez-vous coucher avec soi? Si soi? So remember, on Saturday, December 10th, if you live in Louisiana, speak the language of democracy. Go vote, you heard me? <laughs> Thank you, John. That's true. Now, I only caught uh, a little part of what you just said, but I assume it was great. Yeah. Um, also, it gave me a weird craving for crayfish. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, much. that's good. Speaking of food, uh, you know, the Phillies uh, team, they have a stadium nut vendor you might know called the Pistachio Girl, who's beloved for antics like this. Emily Yukis is the Pistachio Girl, they call you. Right? That's right, baby, pistachios. I'm the Pistachio Girl. That's right. Everybody loves the Pistachio Girl. Say, Pistachio! That is my favorite Bob Seger song of all time. <laughs> well, fun story. This week, the pistachio girl was fired for being an avowed white nationalist. Then why is she selling pistachios? Cracker Jacks has cracker right in the name. <laughs> now, that's the, that's the natural fit. That's the fit. Now, obviously, this is upsetting. This is shocking. No one ever expects a beloved nut vendor to be the type of person. Walnuts! Who... Oh, yeah! It's walnut o'clock and I'm buying! Yeah! What, what you guys hear that? Ah. It's our beloved late show singing Walnut Boy. Walnuts! The nuts are back in town. I say wall, you say nuts. Wall! Nuts! Wall! Nuts! nuts. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Steven, you know it. Wall 
nuts. They're the master nut. What? Uh, wait, wait. What did you just say? Did you did you say master nut? Uh, that that sounds racist. No, no, Stephen. I believe all people are equal regardless of race. But I do believe walnuts are ordained by God as the superior nut. Yeah. Wait. So wait, wait, wait. So. Okay, stop. Please stop throwing those. Some people might have an allergy. No, oh, so, true. so are you saying there are inferior nuts out there? That's right, Stephen. Almonds lack the omega-3 fatty acid of walnuts. <laughs> also, almonds play loud music and steal. I mean, right? <laughs> Come on, go back to almond land, almonds. Look, Get out no, of here. No, listen, stop it. I think almonds and walnuts are just equally fine nuts. What? Did you know that the Declaration of Independence was signed on a walnut desk? Meanwhile, you can't find walnut pie anywhere. Pecans are stealing all the nut jobs. Oh, all right, wal wal walnut boy, I'm just not comfortable with your nutrageous conspiracy theories, okay? We're gonna have to let you go. You can't silence me. Unmix the nuts. Unmix the nuts. Everybody, unmix the no, nuts. Stop all right. it. No, stop uh, it. No yeah. one join your stupid chant. Okay, we're mixing the nuts. This isn't, this isn't, this isn't Nazi Germany. Oh. Hey, that's a good one, Stephen. I'm gonna use that one. Walnut, Walnut. boy, everybody, you're fired. You're fired, Walnut, Walnut boy. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. We've got a great show for you tonight. Olivia Munn and Martin Freeman are here. But first, I'm gonna play a little game about Donald Trump. You can win big money. Stick around.